It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. On today's episode, my friends, I am going back into the Daily Dog vault and accessing a reaction that I filmed back in June of 2022 to High Hopes by Pink Floyd. This was a part of our fan favorites series over on my Patreon. We do one fan favorites video a month over on Patreon and we pick a genre or a topic and people uh, put in their suggestions for songs that fit within that topic and then we upvote them and see what our favorites are and then at the end of the month I record about an hour long video of several tunes that uh, were our favorites within that genre and in that particular month june of 2022 we were talking about road trip songs and of course some pink floyd came up and high hopes from their 1994 album the division bell was one that uh, made it to our countdown and i very much enjoyed it and i am happy to share that reaction with y'all now uh, we move on to Pink Floyd, y'all, and the song is called High Hopes. This one was recommended to us by our friend Jeff. And, and Jeff says, I'm not exactly sure why, but for me, Pink Floyd makes the best road trip music. I guess they're long, groovy pieces that make uh, made to bring you on a journey. I like that. Uh, so it helps with driving if your spirit is also traveling. I like that as well. Uh, Jeff goes on, they also bring up a lot of scenery to mind, and it seems to complete the scenery on the highway. You already, meaning me, uh, reacted to Dark Side of the Moon, Animals Wish You Were Here, Echoes, which are also all great road trip albums. So that's why I went for High Hopes, which is definitely one of my favorite pieces for them. And so I was thinking, High Hopes, do I know that one? Is that classic Pink Floyd? This is the closing track on the 14th studio album the division bell released in 1994 it was their second album without roger waters and the last album to feature richard wright who died in 2008 i think there was another album that came out uh, after richard died but i think it was previously recorded stuff if i'm not mistaken i read conflicting accounts as i was reading in about whether this was the last pink floyd album or not uh, but it uh, definitely is in their the later part of their career. Um, like many of their songs, the lyrics include references to founding member Sid Barrett, uh, hearkening back to their early days in, in Cambridge. Gilmore and his wife Polly wrote the lyrics and David wrote the music. So we've got uh, David Gilmore on lead and backing vocals. He also plays uh, bass and guitars. Uh, Richard Wright is on keyboards. Nick Mason is on the drums. They are joined by John Karen on piano. And uh, Michael Kamen and Edward Shermer uh, provide uh, orchestrations for this. So let's see what this one is all about. This finishes up. Uh, Division Bell uh, from 1994. So I am curious to see what this one is all about. Always curious to hear sounds from Pink Floyd. So off we go with High Hopes. Here we go. Speaking of bells. And a bee buzzing. Oh, that's cool. They put the bell on the offbeats. Interesting. The bell is a C. Beyond the horizon of the place we live when we were young. In a world of magnets and miracles Our thoughts trade constantly and without boundary The ringing of the division bell had begun I think that's where the title of the album comes from Along the long road and on down the causeway Band followed in our footsteps 
Running before time took our dreams away. Really powerful open voicing that open Leaving fourth the that's voiced in the piano. Trying to tie us to the ground, to a life consumed by slow decay. The grass was green and the light was bright. The grass was greener, the light was brighter, with friends surrounded the nights of wonder, hearkening back to earlier on in our journey, what we used to be like. There's nostalgia. I also sense regret in this. Steps taken forwards. Road trip song, I'm not sure. Maybe as we get later on um, to a classic David uh, guitar solo, maybe. in that key. Still straight to the horizon. Through, though down this road we've been so many times. So it's another metaphor for a road, right? The taste was sweeter. The taste was sweeter. The light was brighter. The grass was greener. Hmm. It's about the natural course of things as time runs its course and sometimes our hopes are fulfilled the and a lot of times they are not and we have emotions about that with friends surrounded the dawn mist glowing the water flowing the endless river forever and ever struck me of another song from relatively late in a musician's career 
uh, Elton John with I Believe in Love. It's in a similar minor key. It's got a similar sort of melancholy about it. About, I still believe in this, right? But it's tougher to still believe in that year after year after year, given what we know now that we didn't know back when we were younger. We miss our optimism. We miss our naivete. We miss our energy level, right? We miss our ambition, maybe. When I think about how hard I was hitting the pavement as a young professional, I don't know if I could do that again, you know? I kind of am now, but it's a completely different feeling, right? I'm smarter, I'm more efficient than I used to be. I'm still on the offbeat with the bell. Just slowly fades out. Hmm. Pretty amazing tune. Pretty amazing tune. Pink Floyd always brings it, y'all. Uh, so I that I don't know. Uh, it depends on the type of road trip that I'm on. If I'm feeling a little blue. Um or uh, just a little, I don't know, um, sentimental, maybe. That one might be one that I, that I put on to sort of help myself emote a bit. Another wonderful, wonderful song from Pink Floyd. What a legacy this band has. Uh, 1994, this came out. I was in high school, and I wasn't paying attention to Pink Floyd, sadly, at that time. I think I really would have, have enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed this listen to it. And, you know, y'all, uh, every time I come back to music from Pink Floyd... I am consistently reminded that they are not talking about black and white issues. They are talking about the messiness of the human experience. There is always some nuance. And in this song, I felt uh, pride, but I also felt a little bit of regret and nostalgia for the hopes that we might have once had and how life has turned out. <laughs> Uh, in, in the uh, intervening years. And so it makes sense that for uh, older Pink Floyd in the 90s, it's, it's part of what they're talking about, high hopes. Uh, what was some of the, uh, the lyrics here? Uh, the grass was greener, the light was brighter when friends surrounded the nights of wonder. They're thinking back on their experiences. In fact, I think that a lot of this video was shot in and around Cambridge, which is where uh, some of the guys grew up and met each other. So they're thinking back to what it was all like when they started out. And now, maybe as the band's career is starting to come to a close, they're thinking about how they can kind of wrap things all up. And they're reminiscing on those memories. And we get a song like High Hopes, a really, really poignant and beautiful song. One of the better David Gilmore guitar solos that I think I have ever heard. Uh, they still got it. <laughs> they still got it in the 90s, and I think they still got it today if they wanted to. So it was really wonderful to listen to High Hopes from Pink Floyd back in the day for our road trip video last June, and I was pleased to share it with all of y'all today. Thanks for being with me, and we will see y'all on another edition of The Daily Doug.